Okay, our next step after we get done cropping is changing from a color to a black and white image. Now I know that some of you are working with black and white images, but truly your image is not grayscale. So what I'm going to ask is um, that we go up here to image, mode, go to grayscale. Image, mode, grayscale. Yes, you want to convert. Yes, please. Discard the old colors. If your image is truly black and white, you won't see a big difference. However, for those of you who are working with um, old images, a lot of your old images will have this uh, tan sepia color. And the tan CP color will allow will will kind of be a distraction because it will be uneven. Now, for the sake of argument, we're going to go back into the color mode, image mode RGB. Okay. Now you may ask, why did you go and do that? Mainly just so we would eliminate any. Uh, impurities in color. Yep. All right, the next series of steps are going to be the meat and potatoes of this assignment. So I need you to eliminate all distractions. Thank you. And pay attention to the directions carefully. Because we're going to learn a new tool or a tool that may or may not have been something you're familiar with. So, do we have all distractions off our computer? Please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what I need you to do is go to your toolbar. And we're going to use... Use the clone stamp tool today. Clone. Okay. Clone stamp tool. All right. You'll notice at the very top of your screen, you have some different options on how to use your clone stamp. We're going to use a normal mode. We're going to use probably a pretty soft but small brush. So your hardness is at zero. It should be at zero already. And uh, the size will depend on the size of your image. I'm going to start with a 60 pixel radius with a soft brush. So um, this is what I'm using here on my settings. You can watch here. You want your opacity to be 100%. Your flow be 100%. So all of these settings should be identical to what I'm using. So 60, zero. Correct. If, you're, if you've selected the brush, this is what your brush size should be and your hardness. All right, so let's, set, let's zoom into a part of your image that needs to be repaired. Just to, to kind of get familiar with this, I want to I wanna show a funny little trick. Okay, I'm going to show you that uh, you can actually change the size of your brush. You see my little circle that's on my Aunt Sandra's forehead? Um, you can make your brush size bigger by doing a right click or right, okay, right, sorry, not right click, right bracket or left bracket. Now, next to your P on the keyboard, you have your brackets, left and right. So I want you to experiment with Big, making your brush size bigger and smaller because controlling the brush size will be very useful when we are getting our, 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 our clone stamp. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Raise your hand. So we're about ready to learn how to use the clone stamp. What's your question, Cherokee? 60 pixel with 0% hardness. It says that it can't do it because the... 
I know. We have. I haven't showed you how to do it yet. I haven't showed you how to do it yet. So don't worry. We're getting ahead of ourselves. So have you learned how to get your brush size bigger and smaller next to your P? It's the right bracket, make it bigger. Left bracket, make it smaller. Okay. For you advanced people, I know you're beating your head against the wall because I'm so slow. But get, get ready. I'm going to show you how this works. All right. All of a sudden, if you hold down your option key, you'll notice that your mouse turns into a crosshair. All right, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to demonstrate how to turn my mouse into a crosshair. Now I'm going to I'm going to sample my Aunt Sandra's eye real quick. To do that, I'm going to hit my option and do a left click on my mouse. That's going to sample that spot, just, just for, for, for grins. And then if I go up to her forehead, I can sample her eye on her forehead. Now, obviously, right now, it's not exact, but it gives you an idea of, of how it's working. Okay, so where's the option key? The option key is it's two over from your space bar. Find a area that you would like to sample. Oh God. Okay, now what do we do? Like get the Hold down your option key and click on a sample location. I knew it's not giving anything. Totally Alright, I'm gonna come around to help everybody. Obviously, this is something that may or may not be easy to understand. 